Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley, and this is part of a crash course on Framer, a tool for designing and prototyping projects. On this video, we're going to learn how to create pinchable layers. Pinchable layers can be scaled and rotated with two fingers. This multi-touch gesture is often seen in maps and photo apps to zoom and navigate content. Pretty cool stuff. Let's get started. This is how our pinchable layer is gonna look like. You can hold the Alt key while moving your cursor to bring up a second cursor. This allows you to emulate multi-touch gestures. Okay, let's create our pinchable layer from scratch. Here in the design tab, I just added a rectangle and then I created a target for this rectangle and then I called it box. Now I'm ready to start coding. So just as the draggable layer, I can enable pinching just almost the same way. So I'm going to say box, pinchable, enabled, and then equals true. There you go. So now this layer should be pinchable. I'm going to press Alt so I can uh, do multi-touch gesture. And now I start pinching. But right now it just pinches and then it stays there. So something else that you can add is events that are listening to the pinching and then add an animation. For example, probably I want this, once the pinching ends, I want the layer to go back to its original position. So to do that, I'm going to say box on pinch end. As you can see, you can say on pinch or pinch end or start. For this one, I'm going to say on pinch end going to say that the box animates the scale back to one, the rotation back to zero, and let's test it. I start pinching, and then when I stop pinching, it just goes back. Let's do it again. I start pinching, and then I stop pinching, and then it goes back. Additionally, I can add animation options. For example, I want to make the curve a spring and I also want to change the damping to probably 0.7 so it just bounces back there you go I start pinching and then it bounces back if you enable both dragging and pinching the layer also becomes panable punning is the same as dragging except it's a multi-touch gesture so over here on my example I'm just going to go to box, draggable, enabled, and then say equals true. And right now, my layer is panable, but it's also pinchable. And it's really hard to do uh, the multi-touch gesture right here, so I'm going to show it on my phone. As you can see, I'm able to drag and pan at the same time. And whenever I release it, it just goes back to the original position. Pretty, pretty cool stuff.